All right, so <laughs> it started a trip to Charleston to go visit Octomoc. Um, at his school, <laughs> we'll see if we actually see any parts of the school, which might be pretty cool. Ooh, it rhymes. But anyway, yeah, it's gonna take about five hours to drive to Charleston and let's go. I jumped in halfway. I didn't even see the first two movies. This is the third movie? Yeah. This is the third movie. Third movie. Okay, you start out with this girl. Really boring. She's really awful, and I don't know why anybody really likes her anyway. Pretty terrible. And there's this guy that's also just, just as equally terrible. That she's into. Yeah? Turns out he's a vampire. <laughs> he's boring. He didn't do anything. He literally he's just sat all the time. It's like literally two memorable scenes of him. Mm -hmm. Literally the whole movie is just them being jealous. Because the dude, the, the girl who's awful is like almost like seeing two guys at once. It almost seems like she's like hanging out with this werewolf dude also. Werewolf dude. We have the movie his shirt's off. <laughs> For some reason. He, um, he changes and then his shirt comes off. Like he changes the werewolf, shirt comes off. But every time that he does it, like he's, all of his clothes are supposed to come like get ripped off when he turned into a, a werewolf. But every scene that he comes back to being human, he has time to put on pants, but he doesn't put on a shirt. So like 20 guys, like they're all there's like this pack of werewolves, they'll like run into the scene and they'll all be wearing they'll be wearing pants and a uh, belt, and they'll they'll be like almost like fully clothed from the waist down, but they won't be wearing shirts. These pack of naked dudes just running out of the woods without a shirt on. I guess the girl likes his six pack, so I think that's why she's hanging out with him. The, the one dude can turn into a wolf and he does nothing besides glistle, like glitter in the sun. And then half the scenes he's in the sun, he's not even glittering. And the vampire. vampire got married. And then within like a day, she was like pregnant. Like she got married at like 18, they're pregnant the next day. And the baby starts murdering her. <laughs> like from the inside. Like he's like stealing our nutrients. And then she has to drink human blood for some reason. Because that's a thing. And you die. Like a real human in real life, they die if you drink real blood. There's too much iron in it. I just realized that. Once you drink human blood, you just die. You didn't know that? You don't die from just drinking human yes, blood. You do. Then how do cannibals survive? Or why she wanted to be immortal. Because they, they were gonna he was gonna like bite her and make her a vampire for some reason. Because being immortal kinda sucks for being honest. And then everyone was like warning her, hey being immortal kinda sucks. And she's like, I don't care. I love this guy. Was the werewolf fights? If we're being honest, like those things were. I like dogs. I kind of like dogs. And the, these dogs, like werewolves, were kinda, they would like shatter. You punch them, they just turn into stone and blow you up. Mean the vampires. It, you keep getting them mixed up. Vampires, yeah. The vampires would like you like rip off their arm, and it, it wasn't even <laughs> cool. Cause it was like, yeah, normal movie, rip off someone's arm, blood gushing out, things people going nuts. They did, like literally, the dude took a lighter and threw it on this girl, and she just. <laughs> He was like literally just throwing lighter on paper. He was like, except like paper dipped in gasoline. You have to wonder if they ever like 
do something like a smoke or whatever, and they just combust into flames. They're nowhere and just bite someone's head off. Like, that's actually kind of cool. And the dogs would just start ripping people apart, and the dogs were massive. They weren't just, they weren't just wolves, they were massive. And like, why would you ever want to be a vampire? I wish the dogs could turn you. Like, I would go with Jacob in a heartbeat if he could turn me into a wolf. Like, so you'd, I would, go, you'd go homo for Jacob? Yeah, I would go homo for Jacob. I would want to be a wolf. Because they were just as strong as the, the vampires. They were not immortal. So they didn't hate themselves. Like, J like Edward, the vampire dude, he obviously was... Like, he was so boring. Like, he probably hated himself deep down because he was immortal. It seemed like all the vampires, they all hated themselves deep down. Jacob was better. Jacob even has a six pack. You can't beat a six pack guy. Why would you want to be with a dead dude? She, is she necrophiliac? <laughs> and the werewolf could like, I mean the vampire could like push cars and stuff and like stop vehicles with his hand, but he was emaciated and he had no muscle tone. I wonder what Jacob could do with a six pack still having that level of strength. You know what I'm saying? Saw a 10 out of 10 movie, would watch again.